ladies and gentlemen. My name is Allison Cruz, and one eye drop application and a not so difficult decision later, I'd like to welcome you back to another rousing episode of hey, Pokemon Snap. Last time, we kind of had a bit of a double whammy, and not only did we get a new area unlocked in the form of underground, the Outaway Cave, and the snow fields, but we also, for some reason, unlocked the nighttime of the blushing beach, which is bizarre. Definitely not something I was expecting, but still one of my favorite stages. However, I think we're gonna stick to what I said we were gonna do at the beginning of the last part and just finish off going back to the jungle for, you know, only the fourth time between two stages and seeing what this area during the night has to offer. Now keep in mind, this is the highest that you can really research the jungle at night to. There is no level three, so it's a bit unfortunate but, luckily for us, we might be able to unlock a shortcut yet, so without further ado, let's step inside and take a look. <laughs> and there we go, already immediately disturbing the sleeping spot of our dear friend, uh, Leafeon. But we're going to try to be a little less distracting this time around because there is a very obscure shortcut that we can access. I think we might just wait a little bit on it, though, to be completely honest. So, got more of those Lipards there. We've also got this Yen Mega. If we scan, we might be able to get something. Maybe some music. There we go. Wake up. We're also going to grab your friend, too. Yeah. All of you will be disrupted from your sleep. And we've also got this guy right here, this Ariados. And what's kind of interesting about this guy is you can wake him up after throwing three uh, uh, fluff fruit at it. So that's nice. Also, this little sleeping Lipard. So keep in mind, we are going to have to be a dick to all of the Lipards that we see to unlock that secret little ancient ruins path. And it's such a bizarre an obscure way to get into it that I don't even want to really talk about it right now. We'll do that next time because it's actually our turn to go behind the scenes of the waterfall. So, Leafyon, if you'd like to go off into the brush like that, that would be nice so I don't scare you. Because there's something that you can kind of do. Can I just, can I get you to go over there and not to the forward? Damn it. All right, well that's fine. All I really wanted Leafyon to do was to interact with the sleeping swampert, but we can't really do much about it because she didn't decide to follow us. Also, Slacking, what's up, man? You're not gonna turn around for nothing, not unless your girlfriend is there. Also, terribly terrifying Ariados is sleeping. These guys don't seem to really care all that much, but if we, oh, I thought we had to just play the song to get them to come down. Maybe I already did, I don't know. Uh. But yeah, I think we're not really going to get a whole lot on this side just yet. And we did wake up that Lipard, but she's not coming this way, so I don't think we can even activate it right now if we tried. Uh, nothing to do in there, although I guess we could probably wake up this pick pick. He's going to be a sleepyhead. Just like, you freaking mind? Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, so back over here, we got some sleeping toucans. Two cannons, I should say. Crystal Bloom. Let's see it. Can we strike for gold one more time? Oh, there's someone in the way. Excuse me, two cannon. I'm trying to get this Crystal Bloom. You're not going to let me. Here we go. Boom. Wake up. There you go. Get angry. See what happens. Come on. I'll play a song. I'll play a song next. Okay, and behind us. Let's start playing a song. Oh, with the Yen Mega. Here we go. Because, okay, so the Lipart is going to chase the Picky Peck that we woke up by playing that song. And before it's too late, let's go ahead and activate so that we can head back over there. Oof. That was close. I missed the Yen Mega. Sometimes they decide that they want to do like a pose here. But I did not speed up enough to do it. So that's just tragic. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. How about... Here we go. Eat it. Eat the thing, or go over here. Eat this one. I need to get one of you eating. Please. There we go. Oh, so happy. Beautiful. <laughs> ah, here we go. Swampert. So we hadn't taken a picture of the Swampert yet, had we? 
Oh, we might have. Not a whole lot that we can do to really get it to wake up, but that leafy on is pretty happy to be there. We can get some really nice pictures. Sleeping Quagsire. <laughs> so cute. Oh, man. Okay. So, while this is a thing, there we go. Look at them. Look at them sleeping. They're doing their little sleeps. Look at that. A swamper that I can't wake up. Oh, cute. oh, and this Wolverine decides he wants to come over and wake everyone else up. <laughs> Demonstrating intense Ori energy. Yeah, that's about it. A lot that we can do if we had unlocked, you know, other paths, but we'll get that at some point in the future. We can't even do it now. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, Neo One is set to return. Damn straight, Rita. You know, I generally really enjoy night stages. I think that more or less goes without saying, as my computer decides that it wants to rev up its fans, something must be happening. But uh, anyways, we only got 10 for that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. So, oof, that is a good level three, but I still, uh, man, I haven't gotten a level one yet? That's insane. Oh, that's cute. I want that one. I really should, but I need more points. So we'll go for the one that is worth probably more points. I'll take that. Yeah, and Mega, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna be any good. Adios. Uh, yeah, maybe that one. That seems pretty good. Leafeon? Is this our first time seeing Leafeon? I thought we had one before. Huh. All right, well, I'll go for this one. Swampert. Ooh, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe the two, since we just have the one. Although, this one seems like it's probably going to be worth a lot. Yeah, I'll go for that. Slacking, still not a great shot by any accord. So we'll go for that one. Pick a peck. Let's see. Yeah, just annoyed. We, only, we don't have a level one pick a peck yet. That's obscene. Two cannon. Okay, I guess we're going for two. Two stars, perhaps. So one of these, I think maybe that one. Mouth open or looking at me. Mouth open or looking at me. I don't know, man. I would almost say that one. But it could very well be the difference between crystal and silver. I'll go for that one. Quagsire doing his little sleep. Uh, sure, I'll go for that. <laughs> and whoopa. Oh, cute. All right, let's see it. Give it to me straight, man. <sighs> let's see what we've got. More lol. Yeah, it's on its way somewhere to eating that food. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oof, if not just barely. Oof. It's a good thing with such a lusciously large face. <laughs> Alright. Adios. Nice work. So it's pose. It's rare to see it at home on its web. Are you gonna make me regret choosing this picture, Professor? Nah, we're good. We are Gucci. What is the background even? It's probably just because he's on the web. <laughs> That's two stars. Incredible. Okay. Have we been to this stage twice during the night? We might have, actually. Hmm. Here I was thinking we've only been here, you know, the one time. Oof, look at that. Look at that. That is a wonderful picture. And it's, yeah, it's our first time with Levion. All right, I'll take it. Swamper knocked the hell out. Reasonable, because it's the middle of the night. It's two in the morning. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. It's nice and big. Damn straight. And I didn't take a picture of Swampert in the swamp. Huh. All right. Maybe I don't remember as much of this that I recorded that I thought I did. Yeah, complete opposite direction. But you know what? We got more points, so I'll take it. <laughs> don't worry. Eventually, we can turn it around. And now pick a pack. It looks like it's on its way somewhere or just woke up. And it's real annoying that we're disrupting all the peace and quiet of the jungle. And we're really all over the place with that guy. Two cannon. Ah, yes. Good timing. Perfect. So I guess we probably gave up a little bit of direction to get that perfect pose. You know what? I'm fine. That is a fantastic picture. And again, this area just working wonders for that two cannon. All right, Quagsire, I don't expect you to go anywhere near the nice lengths work. of that first one, but close enough. Jeez, that is actually really impressive. I almost want to pick this one because he's so, like, asleep. 
God, you know he's like breathing good or bad. We'll keep it though. Now yeah, this whooper that's sleeping with the neighbors. <laughs> oh, come on, please give it to me. Thank you. That other Pokemon definitely saving it for me. Ooh. It's not hard to get a good whooper picture, so that would have been a little oh, a little miffed. But that's like a solid 3,000, right? Yeah, 34. It's good. And for completing this, we get a new gift, the Hindsight Waterfall. And we're also the collector of grass. Come on, grass. And 150 species. That's crazy. Ah. Look at all this. Perfect. Okay. Well, uh, let's go back to camp. Papa needs a drink of coffee. <laughs> and there we go. My dose is starting to take a turn. So luckily we are nearing the second half of this part. And it's time to be mentally prepared to head back to the snow fields. This time, level two at night. Now, as you can see, we still need 106,000 before we can reach level three. But like I think I mentioned the last time, I don't think that we can unlock the shortcut here the first time we visit it, which is a real shame, but that's all right because I think the rest of the stage has enough to offer. So with that, let's go and explore, baby. All right, one blown doze later, and we're here in the nighttime of the snow fields to catch an exuberant Delibird. How's it going, friends? We've also got the return of the gang of Mighty Enna. These guys are kind of jerkish, but this time the Piplops will run away with the ferrets. And this guy, how dare you? Stop it. Knock it off. No one appreciates you around here, and that's a bad thing for you, I guess. Uh, we'll try to get another sand slash, I suppose. It's gonna be kind of hard, but doing this little thing. There we go. That might be all right. Oh, you're mad. That's something, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't think there actually is a whole lot for us to do here. Holy shit! <laughs> Bravery. God damn. Getting, gonna bust yourself over my 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 fluffs. Yeah, not a whole lot else to do over here. Well, that's fine. So I'm gonna go run up here. You can catch that <laughs> mystical mighty Yenna up there. And then the ferret, the one to rule them all. I'm coming. I'm trying I'm trying to zoom as fast as I can. There you go. Okay. So going up slopes is hard to do even if you're trying to dash. But that's all right. Uh, we do want to more or less try to keep our uh, snap count low because everything happens at the end of this stage. What is that flying? It's probably something else. A bomb of snow over there. Perfect two-year term. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and then another one over here. God, there's like a braviary going crazy here. You know, that deli bird. I don't know what he's thinking up there. Ooh, hold on. There's not a thing down there this time. All right, where did that deli bird go? Jeez, nice shadows. All 240 pixels of them. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Can't knock it out, but I can get close. All right, that's fine. Um, so I think we can get a good shot of you later. I want to see if I can get a decent snow runt. Maybe over here if I can get them to maybe get a little closer. There you go. Look, you so excited. Eat the food. Quickly. There we go. I always get terrible shots of that. And just in case I get a bad shot here, we'll go with one of all the snow from this terrible angle. As he's summoning the strength of all the religions combined. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I think we're okay. 43 going down here, sure. But now that we have Illumina orbs in the night, we will be able to put them to much better use here because if you remember, there are a couple of Jinxy Poos in here and uh, I don't know that they really can go another night without dancing, doing their little dance. But we have this Vanillax that's in the way, being kind of a jerk, so with a good shot, you will be able to hit the crystal balloon. Here we go. Yeah, give it to me. Give it to me, Jinxie. The true drag show. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Yay! Look at that. That's cute. Uh, so Vanellax also has its own thing to do. 
And there's like a stray Jinx that's just kind of doing her own business. Hi! So we'll go ahead and activate this and hopefully get a good shot without too many rocks in our way. So, yeah, that is a good one. Getting a little deli bird hole down there. Yeah, I'll catch you next time. I think we're good in here. Um, and now, oh my god, these Piplup. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Come back. Oh god, there's everything here. Okay, so, we have a plethora of things going on. Obama Snow, we got the Frostmouth, we got the Sleeping Braviary. I would like to wake you up. There we go. Uh, and then we've also got the Vulpix doing its thing. Also more Deli Bird, more Sfeel. Oh, chase the Piplup. Okay, I don't know where you guys are going. Here, uh, do a better picture. Yeah. All right, Sfeel. Turn around, man. These guys really don't like doing anything. Swinub, Sleeping Mammoth Swine. There's so much to do here. Well, this. Viblone. There we go. This might be. <laughs> Damn it. That's almost the exact same picture as last time. Okay, I think I think we did okay for ourselves. All things considered, we only can give him one picture. So, oh, and there's Deli Bird. That's fine. We already caught a Deli Bird, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. Sometime the first time we were here. Ooh, just makes me want to play Pokemon Stadium 2, to be honest. You know, you got all these Jinxes and Furrets and Deli Birds. It's like, how can I not? Okay. So this won't be nearly enough to get us level three, but it will help us do some other stuff. So yeah, it's basically the same picture. Hi. <laughs> oh, he's so excited. I feel like this is like a fantastic pose, but I think he's going to give me a terrible score on it. <sighs> it's your loss, man. Okay. So we don't have either of these. I, I was under the impression I did somewhat decently. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's go for three star, I guess. He's digging. He's pawing at the snow. I'll try that. Sandslash. Let's see. So probably a level one will suffice. Look at it. He's like, ah, yes. Spritz me some more, sir. Uh, for it. This is probably bad. I'm not going to get that good of a score. He is rubbing his little face, though. His little eyes. Don't do that if you're me. That would be terrible. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, shoot. Uh, damn it. That's terrible. All right, I'll go for it. Uh, Obama Snow. So we already got one pretty much where we needed to before. So damn it, that's the only one I could have really done. Shoot, I wish I could have like focused a little more. Yeah, we gotta do that one because I just threw a <laughs> fluff fruit at it. Jinx, level fours for days. I think depending on what part of their dance they're on will help you in determining, you know, what you want to take. But just make sure it's facing you, otherwise this is really easy to get almost every time. I'm tempted to say this one because that rock isn't nearly as intrusive, but we'll go for that. Vanillex doing its level 3. Look at that. How is that not, like, pristine four crystal stars, you know? Also, that terrible. It's bad. That all oh, of that first one. It still gives me the creeps, man. Do you see that? Ooh. You, like you think of it in the palm of your hand while it's looking at you, and it just feels like it would weigh like two pounds. All right. Well, I'll try it. Braviary. We already. Ooh. All right. Let's go for that one. Vulpix. Did we get an increase? I think we did to a certain extent. Let's try this one. Let's just replace that. Piplup on its back. Look at the one on the left. That's adorable. Good God. Sveal. Sveal. Terrible. And Vivlon. Three stars. I will take it. And Swine. We're probably not going to get much better. That actually is going to be the best one. So. Here we go. Let's see what we got. I'll take another swig of coffee that is now cold. And we'll see what happens. Deli Bird, he's so excited. It's so happy. Look at that. Ooh, that is not too ta too, bare, too too bad, too terrible. Something. All right, Mighty Anna, what you got for me? Ooh, nine nine nine. Perfect timing, except not. Oh boy, please. Yes. 
That's awesome. I was not expecting the crystal star from that, but I will take it. Mm. Let me some good Mighty Ennas. This is such Great a majestic timing. sand slash. Oh no, no. Okay, barely, just barely. I was doing the math in my head. I was like, is that is that over 4K? But yeah, it is. Cool, all right, for it. Ooh, that pose was really good. But everything else about it, terrible. Yeah, I wasn't expecting much out of that. That's fine. This one is, oh, this is gonna be so disappointing. Yeah, he looks happy, but uh, everything about it is wrong. Yeah, I was just barely short too. Damn. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have throttled my thruster. Alright, it's asleep, it's facing away from us, but still good enough for silver. So that's actually very surprising. Alright, Jinx Monsoon doing its dance of the caves, and we're good. Because we are going to be heading to the caves next. So that's fun. Yeah, it'll be pretty easy to get a decent, you know, three star performance from the lone Jinx and not the two that are dancing. So you might be thinking, how do you get a level three Jinx? But this one's pretty good too, it seems. Nice. That is like a photo perfect picture. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I, I hate your attitude. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. What a beautiful Pokemon. Have you ever just held one in the palm of your hand? I'm actually surprised that got that high of a score. All right, well, we are gonna keep the creepy one. Braviary. So it's calm because it's sleeping, and I just woke it up, but good job. Good on you, Mr. Cruz. And now Vulpix. This is good, definitely going to be better. What a charmer. This isn't that Kings of Leon song. Damn it, 37. How is that better than the two star that we had before? Oh well, at least it's not running away. Now, Piplup. This one I'm curious about. Oh, a terrible pose, apparently. I thought you gave me good marks for that. Everything else seemed pretty decent about it, except for the pose. You just <laughs> don't like it when he's in mid-air. That, you know what, I, I reject that. That should definitely be Crystal, if not that four star. I forgot about that. <laughs> All right, Sveely Sveel. For some reason, yeah, something tells me this is gonna be terrible. And it was. Cool. Which still amazes me that this one got such a high score in comparison, but. That's fine. And now for three star. So oddly enough, you can get a really good three star nice in the Attaway Cave. And this one's not great, but still about, yeah, I was gonna say 3,000. Decent. Mama Swine. This one should definitely be an improvement, if not only for the direction. Yeah, across the board, baby. <sighs> Finally pushed it over. We are getting the Mama Swine redemption that I'm here for. And that's it. That's snow day two so or snow night two but you know what i mean so we still have plenty of opportunities for others in even just this one run but man there's still so much left to do there there's probably gonna be an episode where i go through it at the night level you know two times in one video but if that haven't been said and done let's go back to camp and i'll take yet another drink well, that was pretty fun, if I do say so myself. A good way to sort of ease us back into, you know, completing this game. But next time on New Pokemon Snap, as much as I'd kind of like to maybe go back to, you know, the park or elsewhere, forest or the volcano, so many things left for us to do. We're going to go ahead and explore the Blushing Beach at night and take our first step into Outaway Cave. Now, the cave stage is a little unusual because obviously, you don't really have day or night cycles that take place down there. We're underground. But this is the site of our next Illumina Pokemon. And I'm very excited to see what comes up out of this because there are so many different behaviors in this place that it is actually incredibly overwhelming. So with that, thank you so much for sticking around if you have. And if not, then well, we'll see what happens next time because tomorrow's actually... My 29th birthday, which I'm not looking forward to celebrating. <laughs> and actually, in just a few hours, we're going to go out and do some pre-celebrations, but it'll be my last year of being in my 20s, which is depressing, considering I've been doing this the entire time and have nothing to show for it. All right, enough about me. I will see you here 
next time for episode, I guess, 20. Sweet. 20 episodes, man. And these are long... Like, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'll see you next time. Take care.